soldering. So, for today's video, ay papakita namin sa inyo ay the soldering pump. Uh, bale, ang brand niya ay Edsin. So, our brand is Edsin. The most popular brand and the very best quality in terms of the soldering pump. It is the first who introduced the original desoldering pump, Soldoco, in the industry. And very good quality po talaga. Very good quality po talaga ito. Edsin are made from USA. We are, dis we are the distributor here in the Philippines. So guys, meron tayo dito Edsin desoldering pump PS017. Ayan siya guys. Edsin DS017, the original deluxe sold the pool with SRT12 tip and, and 0 DS31 o-ring. This was designed for heavy duty high volume applications. It is durable and is made to be very efficient. You will find many applications for it. Your desoldering work. Our most popular hand desoldering tool. Number one, designed for heavy duty, high volume applications. Number two, easy one hand loading and operation. Number three, integral cleaning shop, self cleans, no stick, PTFE tip. Ayan siya guys. Ayos natin siya sa plastic. Ito ang ating desoldering pump BS017. And then ang next natin ay BS 017 NS The Edson DS 017 LS sold the pool ESC safe conductive, conductive desoldering pump is a portable spring loaded tool that removes solder around component leads on PC, PC boards. So guys, some features niya ay molded from conductive metal, high efficiency and durable construction. 3. Includes, includes LS197 Ayan ang atin, DS-017LS. So guys, ang next naman natin ay the soldering pump Edsin SS750LS. So Edsin SS750LS, the S the Edsin SS750LS is an ESD safe standard metric low static. The soldering pump designed for single-handed operation. Includes a LS751 tip, static safe standard, metric solder pole, 
Challenger with LS751 tip and OS130 O-ring. The SS750 LS is a low-cost, high-quality, low-static tool for desoldering components that are charge-sensitive. So guys, yan ang ating SS750 LS. Labas naman natin siya. Ayan ang ating Soldo Pool SS750 LS. Brand niya is Etsy. So guys, ito ang ating mga desoldering pump Edsin. Model niya is Edsin. So guys, meron tayong DS017 LS. Meron siyang meron tayong DS017 LS. meron din tayong meron din tayo guys na Edsin soldering pump DS017 LS Tong ating EST safe na soldable And meron din tayo guys na Edsin Desoldering Pump SS750 LS. So guys, ayan ang ating mga desoldering pump Edsin DS017, DS17 LS, and SS70 LS. So, ayun lang guys. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and TikTok account. Thank you! To begin using the solder pole portable desoldering tools with shaft guide is to load it. This is done by pushing the knob towards the tip until you hear it click. This is shown on the package when you received your tool. It illustrates pushing the knob on a sturdy and secure surface where you have the best leverage. When familiar with the tool, you may find that loading it with the other hand while holding the soldering tool might be quicker and starts to become natural. With the tool loaded, get the solder to its complete molten state with soldering tool at an angle so you can direct the tip on the opposite side. Then activate the trigger. Repeat the process for the next area as you repeat the process, the shaft will pass through the tip to clean it for the next operation. Watch the next video episodes to keep your... After continuous use, solder debris will build up in the barrel, at times to the point of some falling out through the tip. At that time, or before it occurs, contents need to be empty. If this is not done, the debris will fall out onto the workpiece and surrounding area, which may reflow again on the soldering tip and desoldered area. Always follow the SDS of the materials that were drawn up into the solder pole when using and maintaining it. Deactivate the tool to prevent possible injury. To empty, with one hand grab the barrel 
and with the other use the thumb and finger to twist the trigger housing in the direction below the engraving of the barrel until its limit. Then pull apart to separate. Take the barrel and empty its contents. Tap barrel to free additional debris. If a more thorough cleaning of the barrel is desired, an optional CV138 tool can be used to clean inside wall of the barrel. Now inspect the plunger's face. You may notice that there is debris splash that needs to be removed. This is also a good time to check the condition and lubrication of the O-ring. See the video O-ring replacement and lubrication. Now the solder pole can be reassembled and your tool is ready to be used. This maintenance items table displays the individual replacement parts as well as maintenance kits for the solder poles with shaft guides. The desoldering tip will wear and deform due to the heat of the soldering tip and from molten solder. This will allow for more undirected air to be drawn that takes away from the area being desoldered, reducing performance. This also causes the tip not to be properly cleaned at times and can cause the cleaning shaft to jam inside the tip or prevent loading the tool. To remove the desoldering tip, as illustrated on the tool's package, find a sturdy, secure surface where you can exert force with your weight. Grab the tool barrel using both hands. You may use this hand position if using a table surface or this hand position for a vertical surface like a wall or edge of a table that is non-movable. Push the tool as if you were loading it. While keeping the tool away from your face and body, continue to push using your weight until the tip separates from the barrel. Now with the desoldering tip removed, you can insert a new one by pushing until you feel a positive engagement. Now your tool is ready to use. This maintenance items table displays the individual replacement parts as well as maintenance kits for the solder pole. Boring and lubrication is important for the proper function of the solder pole. When you notice that the solder is not being removed well, all of this test method. First, your desoldering tip should be in fair condition to seal with thumb for this test. With the tool loaded and thumb in position, monitor the shaft and the shaft guide when activating the tool. If it immediately returns, continue with the rest of this video. If it stops or slowly moves up in the shaft guide, it's in good condition and the issue might be that the solder may not be fully molten or another situation. Empty the barrel of solder debris, as shown in the video, Emptying Solder Debris, and follow the SDS for exposed materials. Clean the O-ring, shaft, plunger, and mainspring with a disposable towel. Use a WP556 Wigger Pry mini screwdriver and calibration tool or something similar to aid in removing the O-ring. Using your thumb and finger, force the O-ring to one side, which will offset it beyond the plunger's O-ring groove. Take the WP556 and put it through the inside of the O-ring so that it rests on the front of the plunger's rim. While keeping your thumb on the O-ring, Work the WP-556 around the plunger's rim until the O-ring is removed. With the O-ring removed, continue to clean the plunger of debris with a disposable towel. Now you can inspect the O-ring. If there are signs of wear, stiffness, it loses shape or damage, then replace it. If none are found, you may choose to replace it anyways since you have put effort into cleaning the plunger. Install the O-ring, new or used, working it around the plunger until it's in the groove. Next, the O-ring needs to be lubricated with O-ring Lube OL111. Apply the O-ring Lube generously on the O-ring and groove all the way around. Reassemble the tool and clean excess lube. Load and activate the tool repeatedly a little more than a half a dozen times. 
follow the previous step of shaft monitoring inside the shaft guide. In this instance, the original O-ring was used again, and there is noticeable improvement. This video is showing an even better improvement with a new O-ring. This maintenance items table